I am going to go over a few things a couple of things on how I started eating healthier. I have been doing this for over 30 days now. I wanna tell you that my body it just feels so much better and I feel so much healthier. I wasn't really sure what direction I wanted to go in this video, but I figured I would just go all the directions. So I am going to do like what I eat in a day, but I'm gonna do a bunch of simple, simple meals that I started with. If you guys wanna know more on in depth of like what I eat now, because when I started doing this whole little journey I didn't know what I was doing I was like I'll hit the Mediterranean diet I'll try to do that so I kind of started buying things that kind of had to do with that and then I kind of just went on my own and did my own diet so it was like a diet but I also wanted to eat healthy I also wanted to cut out a lot of carbs and sugar and bread and I did cut out some dairy a lot of dairy actually um but there's still some in there. So anyways, you guys, that is where I'm going to go. I am not a dietitian or a nutritionist or anything like that. This is literally based on how my body feels now and what I did to make it feel this way. So before I get started, Teamy Blends contacted me and wanted me to try out some of their teas. I have worked with um, Teamy in the past, but I really wanted to try their detox tea. I thought it would get me motivated to feel better about myself. And before you guys are like, oh, this is a brand deal, anything like that. It's not a brand deal. I really do want to tell you how much it has changed my body and the way I feel in 30 days. And I would not be doing a whole video like this if I 100% did not believe in it. I asked them to do the 30 day detox program. So they send you two teas. They send you a skinny tea, which you drink before every meal or before your morning meals. And you can use the tea leaves up to three times a day. I use it three times a day. I drink it three times a day before every single meal. It was an amazing amount of energy. So what this whole detox does is it takes out all the toxins in your body and it just kind of cleans your system out. It is totally what a detox sounds like. And I'm gonna be real with you. So I'm gonna just show you. So it came in this box like this. Obviously I've already used them. I have a little bit left in skinny because I did use my leaves three times a day. So I didn't like waste them, but I only have a little bit left. The um, colon tea is what you use every other day. So you use this one to three times a day. I chose three times because I thought that it would work better, I guess. Um, and then the teamy colon, this is what you take every other day at night. You also use a tumbler. This tumbler is amazing. You turn off the lid and there's a strainer. Mine is so dirty from the tea like staining it. But you put your loose leaves in here and then you put your boiling water. I just use super, super hot water out of the faucet and then you put your strainer over here so obviously you don't drink your leaves. And then you flip this open and that's how you drink out of it. It's also like a cute little compartment for like snacks or gum or anything that you want. Um, okay, so I'm gonna explain this as best as I can. This is how I used it. Okay, so the colon tea. And this, it sounds exactly what it is. It cleanses your colon. And I'm not kidding. Like the first day you drink this, the next day, don't leave the house. And I'm not kidding. Do not leave the house because you'll poop your pants. And I didn't poop my pants, but I did leave the house and I was definitely regretting it. So the first day, figure, how it, figure out how it works for your body. I ended up figuring it out probably halfway through that if I drink it earlier in the evening, so if I drink it about six o'clock at night, I would get up at five o'clock use the bathroom. This is a detox. Come on, you guys. Like, it happens. We all poop. So, I'm gonna keep going because, like I said, raw and real, you guys. So, yeah. So, I would get up like 5.30 in the morning and do my thing and then go back to sleep for a little while, wake up again and do it probably one to two more times. It just, that's how it works. That's how it works for me. Make sure you drink a ton of water because the first week I did this, I read, yes, the, um, yes, I did read drink a lot of water, but I'm not a water person and you will regret it. My legs hurt so bad because I was getting dehydrated. Just drink lots and lots and lots and lots of water. To go into that, this has seriously just made me feel so much better. Just doing this, this made me motivated to want to eat healthier and also work out. I probably work out four to five times a week at this point. Um, sometimes I start out doing it every single day, not like a bunch, not like a bodybuilder, but just enough to make me feel better, everything. Just to make me feel better. This was all about making me feel better. At first I was like, it'd be nice to really lose weight. I lost almost 10 pounds in a month, which I think is incredible. I would like to be 10 pounds lighter. I don't wanna hear any, you don't need to lose weight. 
we all want to lose weight. We all want to look how we want to look. So at first I kind of did it for it to lose weight and I did. And then the second off, I really wanted to feel better. I have always had stomach issues my entire life. So my, my stomach is super, super sensitive and I hated going out to eat. I hated really eating in general because it always made my stomach upset. So using this, I have not had an upset stomach in over a month, in like 20 years, tw at least 20 years, if not longer. So I think this works incredible. I'm also going to show you guys how I started eating and I honestly think how I started eating changed it as well. I don't think it helped alone, um, but I think that the teamy gave my body a great start and then if I keep going, then I can stay healthy and comfortable and non-bloated and not feeling sick when I eat. And so you guys, I'm going to show you some quick meals as well. If you guys do want to check out Teamy, I will leave their link in the description box below along with a coupon code KK25 for 25% off your purchase of $39 or more. And I think that is a major, major steal, especially if you do want to feel better. Everything is all natural. I leave the ingredients right here so you can see the ingredients in this tea. And now I'm going to do a little cooking video. Okay, before I show you like my after results, I do want to let you know that I did exercise. And what I meant by that was I have like a bike and I would ride five to six miles every other day. And then I would do at least a hundred crunches every single day. And then I started working my arms out, which has like nothing to do with it. Um, but that was like my exercise. Um, also I do want to let you know, I did like a before picture and I'll stick it right here. And then this is when I knew that I honestly had to do something about myself because I was letting myself go. Don't mind my stretch marks. Don't mind my weird belly button. I have like a hernia from having my second daughter. So like, oh, I don't have like the beach bed, but like, oh, well, like that's what happens when you have kids. Okay. So like right now I do feel like tightness in my stomach, but I think it's made like a drastic change. And like, I know everybody wants their before and after pictures. So here I am like mommying up after 30 days. Like I said, it's not like a six pack or anything, but like I'm super proud of what I've accomplished. So this is what my stomach looks like now. And yes, here's my beautiful stretch marks. But like even when you look from the side, it's tighter. It's not like, see, like I got probably this much more. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like so out of breath right now because I was running up and down the stairs because my battery died. But anyways, this is like my after. And I think I've honestly like, see, look, my belly button. But um, anyways, I think I have accomplished a lot in just 30 days. I am overly proud of actually like keeping up with it because I know that sometimes it is super, super hard. But anyways, I just wanted to show you like some before and after pictures or video, I guess. Um, yeah, but um, definitely has worked for me. I've been like, yes, it's like something I stuck with and something I didn't give up on and I didn't give up on myself and I didn't lose focus of what I wanted to accomplish through this whole 30 days. I know this might sound like a really, I don't know, weird vlog type thing, but like it's really not. But anyways, that's it. So breakfasts were really, really easy. I did a ton of fruit bowls, watermelon, blueberries, strawberries. I love granola, so I always just toss a little bit on there. This maple pecan is so amazing. And then, yeah, so every day I kind of just did fruit. Once in a while I did yogurt and I did granola. And the best part about a lot of this was that I had zero waste because I ate the same thing almost every single day. So I ate a lot of leftovers and a ton of fruit. So literally nothing went to waste. I love clementines and almonds. I ate tons and tons of almonds for like snacks. And then I ate fruit bowls for snacks as well. Another thing I loved eating for breakfast was scrambled eggs. I would make three to four scrambled eggs. And then I also made some potatoes the day before and I would just stick them in here and toss everything together. I'm also going to show you how to make the potatoes. I put Parmesan cheese on everything, but I also used hot sauce and it kind of took away the sauces and things like that, the cheese, etc. Um, I also cooked everything in olive oil and I didn't use vegetable oil or anything like that. But the potatoes, I just sliced them up, threw in some minced garlic and some sweet red peppers and this tasted amazing. I cooked in olive oil, so I substituted it for butter and then I just threw some pepper on here and that is all I did with this. I like my stuff really, really burnt. So if you're wondering why there was burnt pieces, a lot of it was the pepper, but I like my stuff burnt. I don't know why, but I just think it tastes way better. And then now I just made a lot of pita with pita bread. 
and some chicken. I always made lots and lots of extra chicken, so I had that left over. This I just put some Caesar dressing on with some spinach on pita and then some cauliflower on the side. And then a lot of times I would make salads ahead of time. I got these little bowls from the Dollar Tree and I would just put salads in them. Sometimes it was chicken. I used this tuna and I always had, like I said, leftover chicken for everything. Blueberries, cucumbers, whatever, and then I just mixed it all together in a salad, and it is really, really good. Um, I like these little tuna things. You can definitely buy the cans, but this was just way easier, especially if you're on the go. Pesto sauce was my best friend because I always needed a salad, and I love sauce. I love ranch. I love all of that, but just this made it way amazing, and you can just mix it together, and it worked out so, so well, except Parmesan cheese as well. This next one, I made this for dinner so many times. I use four chicken breasts. I cut them up, and this taco sauce is the very best. I have not been able to find it since. I bought two packages of it and have not been able to find it. I love these spinach tortilla shells. They are amazing. You can't even tell they taste like that. And then, like I said, I just used olive oil, and I put the chicken in the pan, cooked it until it was brown, threw some pepper on it, and then I mixed it with the with Frontero sauce. It was like a chili chipotle sauce. It was amazing. I always use baby spinach for everything, for salads, for tacos, for pizzas. I make this really good barbecue chicken pizza. If you guys want that recipe, let me know if you guys want to see more of these videos, but this is the way it turned out. Loved it. This is more chicken. I ate chicken every single day. I still eat chicken every single day. I just had these bow tie noodles left over, some Italian seasoning, pesto sauce, and this was probably one of my favorites. It's just noodles, chicken, pesto sauce, Parmesan cheese, and that is it. And this was one of my favorites I made. But if you guys didn't like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you guys liked this and you guys want some more meal planning or healthy ideas to eat, please let me know in the comments below. Also make sure you check out Teamy. Use my code KK25 for 25% off your $39 purchase or more. You guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.